What is going on YouTube? This is Shahadat Shubuj back once again from Gadget Filter channel and in this video I am going to review the desolation room for Moto G5 Plus. I will talk about features, performance and bugs of this room. So guys sit back, relax and enjoy the show. So before going for review, in this channel we cover gadget reviews, apps and game reviews and custom room reviews just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So any further ado, let's go ahead and see what we have got in this room. This is the latest version of Desolation Room. This room comes with 5th July 2017 security patch and this is the latest patch. Also it is based on Android Nougat 7.1.2 and the kernel they are using is a custom kernel which is Lineage OS kernel. So in the settings menu there is desolated core settings, here you will get all of the tweaks or customization of this room. First there is status bar, here you can customize battery, clock, carrier level and network traffic in the status bar. Then there is device interaction, here you will get navigation, button and pulse options. Navigation for enabling and disabling soft keys, buttons for some gestures by using power button and volume buttons and pulse for audio graphics equalization. After that you will find power menu, here you can add some shortcuts to the power menu. Then there is customization options for quick settings panel, notifications, miscellaneous, lock screen as well as you will get slim recent mode which I find really awesome and there is blur personalization with it you can blur the background of the status bar and quick settings panel. Most of all if you want to change the whole internal look of your phone there is OMS support of the substratum theme engine. The performance of this ROM is good, this ROM is pretty much smooth and fast. I didn't see any lag there. All gestures works fine. The battery backup is decent. I am satisfied with the battery performance. The camera of this room is not that good. They use this open camera app. Honestly I don't like this app when there are plenty of rooms have front camera which is nice but this camera app creates noise on the front camera also. On this room I found a bug which is even I don't do anything with the device, the device screen kept on. I have to off the screen by manually otherwise the room is pretty much stable but I don't recommend anyone to use it as a daily driver. So guys that's pretty much it, hope you guys enjoyed, if you guys want to see this kind of ROM reviews for Moto G5 Plus, like this video, subscribe to this channel and I will catch you guys very soon in the next one.